Okay, so today we're at Bincon Plaza, but this is um, the one that there is known more as Bincon Imperia. This is the uh, the really big, uh, their biggest mall now, and uh, you can see the the building actually is the tallest building in Haiphong. Um, not, I'll find out how many floors, I'm not sure, I think it's about 20 odd. Uh, we've got a nice little fountain area in the front here, and some gardens, and this is the main uh, front entrance to the Bincon Plaza, and then on the opposite side, you've got the village um, Bin Homes, lots of uh, housing for, um, I think they're relatively expensive compared to other buildings. Uh, most of these houses have um, spaces for shops or businesses uh, on the first floor and there's a nice garden area with children's play area. Okay, so now we're going to go inside the building. So here we are now inside Vincom Plaza and as part of the Vin Group they now have Vin Fast where they actually make and produce their own motorbikes and cars. So these are uh, Vietnamese made, produced and uh, sold here in Vietnam. And as you can see, I'm not gonna go, uh, I'm not gonna go around prices today because we've done that in the other center. Um, the layout is pretty similar to the other center. Um, I don't think the the actual mall has as many floors. One, two, oh, maybe four. Four floors. Uh, and there is a Vinmart shopping uh, supermarket as well. And this is the uh, decoration inside. It's quite pretty. Um, so we'll go and show you also the facilities upstairs. They have a, a cinema and a bowling alley here. So, uh, speak to you in a minute. Okay, so this is some of the entertainment here. This is more for the kiddies. Uh, yeah, definitely for smaller children. But then you've also got this virtual reality center for experiencing some different uh, things through virtual reality. So you can see they've got the headsets on there and obviously experiencing something unique um, and over here we've got the 10 pin bowling alley just have a quick look so not too many lanes but uh, a few people playing see how good they are oh what looks good looks good looks good oh nearly a strike okay and then uh, there's some coffee shops as well there and various eating places so we're gonna go and have a look see where we can eat later on okay so this is the cinema in the uh, Vincom Plaza the big one they have a CGV cinema um, and this is the area here it doesn't actually look as nice, I think, as the their other Bincom place, which is a Lottie Cinema, different company. Um, but I expect the the films and the popcorn will be very similar. Okay, so that's really it. Apart from, um, I'm going to go up to the very top floor here. They have a bar and restaurant, and you can see the whole of uh, the city from there. So uh, let's go upstairs. So we're in the lift, and actually, it's 45 floors here. And at the moment, we're on 24. So, and on the 43rd floor is the sky bar, where you can actually see and look out over the whole city of Haifa. So we're nearly there. <laughs> and my wife's trying to 
hide. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the 43rd floor. Here we are. And this is the sky bar. And yes, yeah, spectacular views of the whole city. And maybe a lot further beyond as well. So if we start over this side. Go to the furthest um, windows. So here, you're looking out over the whole of Haiphong City. Slow down. So there you go, that's part of the city. There's a river there with two ponds. And then below us, the cars and the motorbikes are quite small. You're seeing there's a lot of construction going on there. They've closed one of these roads and I don't really know what they're doing there at the moment. Maybe a flyover or not sure. Okay, so let's go to the other side. Not many people in here at the moment. So this actually gives you a good view of the uh, the Vin Homes complex itself now. Apart from being um, a big shopping mall and shopping centre and hotel, there's also a complete village here uh, called Vin Homes, and as you, I think you can just about see there in the in between the houses is uh, Vin School, which is a private school for all the residents here. Um, down below is where I was showing you in front before the garden. So there's a nice garden there with children's play area. And further on in the distance there you can see there's a swimming pool, open air swimming pool with lots of greenery. Um, and then it leads out to the river. And you can see the big cranes there as uh, of course Haiphong is a big port city. So a lot, all the big ships come there to be have their containers unloaded, unloaded and uh, go out to sea. Uh, in the distance there you can see some mountains and the whole of the city. Let's just pop to the next window. Hello. So from here we can see this is uh, Bin Bridge I believe. Uh, which goes out to uh, we have to go over that bridge when we go to visit the um, my friend Hui and his children that are learning English so that's the bridge we have to go over uh, and then there's an industrial zone down to the left there and further views of the river and the mountains behind and finally we'll go over to the window on the far side and uh, see the rest of the city. So from here uh, we can see the extent of the river and uh, more industrial areas and uh, landscape beyond. So we can see really once we get beyond the city um, it's pretty much um, countryside with lots of um, greenery and um, paddy fields for growing rice I would imagine and, um, and this is the bar and we're going to have a quick maybe a drink first and check out the menu okay speak to you later
Okay, so we're here in a place called Al Fresco's, a cafe and grill place. Um, one of us is having a fish trio meal, and I'm having the ribs, some small ribs. And uh, I'll just show you around the restaurant. It's quite nice. So, we're in the Vincom Centre. And this is the restaurant we're going to have our dinner in. And then uh, after the meal, it will be dark, so I can um, I can show you what the um, what it looks like when it's all lit up in the dark. And then we can go up to the top floor and see the city at night as well. Okay, speak to you soon. Okay, so it's now night time and we can have a look at the Vincom Plaza at night. I think personally it looks a lot more interesting and pretty at night than it does during the day. And that's the big tall building itself, which is actually a hotel and it's very brightly lit up. And I, it displays the uh, the Vincom lettering as it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The lights change, and you can actually see the the word Vincom in it. And then this is the garden now. All the trees have lights on, so it's all lit up and looks very nice. <coughs> and the fountains have lights too and all the trees outside the building. So now we're gonna go upstairs to see the city at night. So this is now on the other side of the building. This is the entrance to the big tall building. Um, goes straight up there. And it's, uh, it's a hotel. This is the uh, Vincom Imperia Pearl Hotel and this is the entrance here so we're going to go up again to the top floor to have a look from the sky bar the, uh, the view of the city at night so I'll switch off for now so here we are again on the uh, 43rd floor with the sky bar and uh, now we can see the city at night so this will just be really a quick view really just to see um, I need to keep out of the way of this I think otherwise I'm going to see my reflection um, so that's the city there we're all lit up as you can see, really, not so many tall buildings. Um, and this, of course, is the tallest. So we'll just have a look from this side. So there it is. The whole city at night. Fortunately, I think it's not too clear because you get a lot of reflection onto the bar. Maybe this area end might be better. Don't know. <coughs> so I'll try and stand out of the way. So there's the city at night. That's it really, and this is the bar at night. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for today.